How you doing guys? In fact, the Zine in here coming at you guys with the episode 10 of Tech This. Yeah, Tech This. So today we'll be discussing Smashing Ground, which is a, a normal spell card, and it reads, destroy the one face of monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. If it's a tie, you get to choose. So why is this card good? Okay, first of all, this format, I believe, is really good for one for one removal, which Smashing Ground obviously is, because it destroys a one face up and it's one card. So it's a one for one removal. Not a, like the one for one card, you know, that special summons one level one from your deck, but you know, it's a one for one. Which is technically a minus one, but not really. Let's say they have T King on board. You have Rabbit and Hand, and you have Smashing. You can Smashing them, go Rabbit, and do your safe play. Okay, what if they don't? Okay, I mean, they, yeah, there's also Soul Taker, which I can see as being a good counterpart for this as well, but. The one K boost is pretty annoying, but then the the of course the upside of smashing of Soul Taker is if there's multiple cards and you only need to get rid of one, you can just activate it straight out of the bat. Whereas Smashing Ground, you pretty much hope they need to check which one has the highest defense, which usually uh, usually the strongest monster does have. But Thunder King, for instance, only has 900 defense, so that's not even that much. I think or he has 800 defense, nine to 800 or eight to 900, but. Um, okay, so, or they have, let's say you have a board of five, and they have a set, uh, a summoned reaper. Like, it's in defense mode, you're like, damn, how do I get past this? Top deck, smashing ground, game. Um, they have a new wall, smashing ground, game. Uh, that, I don't know, like, anything that can be destroyed by battle, or let's say there's a card that says it cannot be destroyed by targeted effects. And you're like, the hell? Smashing ground does not target. It says destroy the one face of monster your opponent controls that has the highest. If it's a tie, you gotta choose. But it doesn't target at all. So... I mean, <clears throat> that's good and bad at the same time because let's say you smashing ground and you pick, <clears throat> let's say they have two reapers or something, smashing ground, well I mean let's say they have something else like reaper and something else with the same defense, you go smashing ground and you pick um, reaper, then they dark bribe it, you draw a card but reaper doesn't get destroyed because it wasn't targeted, so I mean that's an upside and a downside, it's really a downside for you but an upside for the spirit reaper player so he's like heh, <laughs> scrub, and um, yeah like this there's like lots of big monsters, for instance, in decks that can't run, that can't get over little mon big monsters. Like I don't know, Dino Rabbit's a great example. Dino Rabbit cannot get anything past like 2,500, and that's with like Gem Knight Pearl. So I mean, <clears throat> Smashing Ground like provides that like big push of a, a card. Um, it allows you to <clears throat> sorry about that. It allows you to get past big monsters that you wouldn't normally be able to do. It's a one for one removal, which is great. Like I don't know. Like let's say it's top decking mode and they have a, they finally get a monster on board you can like smashing it out of the way and then if you top deck a monster go for it and yeah let me know what you guys think about smashing ground in this format or smashing ground in general uh, as always in fact the Zenin signing out peace out guys.